Hello, my name is Liam Muhlendijks and I'm one of the optometrists here at K Street Eye Care. I'm a member of the Australasian College of Behavioural Optometry and I'm here today to talk about children's vision testing, particular, in particular binocular vision testing. Now, uh, one in five children have a vision problem and that can make learning uh, quite difficult for these children. That's where binocular vision testing is quite important. Now, if you've had an eye test before, you'll be aware of the, um, the main parts of the eye test. Uh, one being checking visual acuity, which involves the use of a chart like the one on the wall, uh, and checking the health of the eyes, which uses a slit lamp and sometimes in conjunction also with a lens. Um, retinal photography and other things can also be involved in that testing. Um, with children, the additional test that's done is binocular vision assessments, and we do that with a range of other tools that we don't necessarily use in adults. One of those is a retinoscope. Using this in conjunction with the trial frame, and a lens in the trial frame, what we actually do is we use this light to tell us whether the child is long-sighted or short-sighted, which can be quite handy with young children, but even in older children, sometimes um, kids can be very good at focusing over any prescription that they have, and this uh, allows us to see if there is an underlying prescription that perhaps they can still see really well in the distance, but could be contributing to a difficulty or um, their eyes having to work harder when they look up close if they're long-sighted. Uh, we also use these little uh, near point cards, like the ruler there, or in the case of younger children, little pictures. Now we use these because a lot of the testing that we do is when children are looking up close and we want to see how their eyes work when they are focusing on a target up close. We use this to see how they actually focus on the target and we can do that by bringing the target closer and further away. We can do that with also flippers, which can relax the accommodation or cause them to need to focus harder. If they can clear both sides, generally they have good accommodation. Uh, we also use it by bringing it closer and further away to see if the eyes actually converge and follow the image together. With a child with poor convergence, they can sometimes suffer double vision and that can obviously cause quite a bit of trouble up close. We also check the alignment of the eyes and one of these tests is the Neophoria card. By putting a prism in front of one eye, uh, the child will see two of these images and the way that those two images line up tell us the alignment of the eyes and whether or not the child has to work particularly hard to keep their images uh, in single focus, particularly up close. We also check the stereopsis, which is the ability to see in 3D. With the use of these 3D glasses and this test here, with the glasses on, if the child has good 3D vision, they'll see the wings of the fly sticking out. They'll also see one of these animals sticking out of the page and one of these circles on each of these sets here. If a child has poor stereopsis, it can be a sign that they have a lazy eye. It can also just be a sign of weakness in their binocular vision system, perhaps trouble focusing. Last but not least, we check the um, colour vision of the child using the Ishihara test. Now with these um, plates here, if the child can't see the number or sees a different number to what we would see, that can indicate that they have a colour vision problem. Now, thank you for your time. If you would like more information on children's vision testing, please see our website. Enjoy the rest of your day.